Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time watching me, welcome. This is my most recent pre-order haul from Blank Label Wax Melts. Blank Label is a company owned by Desiree Ruiz from Scottsdale, Arizona, a neighboring state of mine here in Utah. Um, I don't remember, I've had this order for about a week or so. I don't remember if this is the Valentine pre-order or, or it was just the regular next pre-order of hers, but I ordered, I've ordered a few times from Blank Label, most recently being the um, Christmas Advent calendar, I think, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I had to film, I had to film this order because there's just so many good, yummy bakery ones in here, a couple of non-bakery, and I just want to bring some awareness to this vendor, you know, to give Desiree's products some love. Um, I've been satisfied with everything I've purchased so far from her, so um, let's get started. Uh, this, why I say this might be the Valentine's Day pre-order is because of the of the tissue paper that's on top here. Um, I don't remember, honestly, and, and, and I do apologize for that, but the little sample goodie bag is hearts also. So maybe it's, um, maybe it is that. So um, I've got a handful of products here. Um, I'm just going to dive right in. Not too big of an order, but um, she's working on her her next uh, pre-order list. I'm not sure when that's going to be opening up, but um, if you're interested in any of these products, then, you know, maybe check out Desiree's uh, Facebook page for uh, Blank Label. So the first one here, this is a Never Nude Valentine. This, pro this probably was the Valentine Day pre-order again. A Never Nude Valentine. I'm going to turn my light down just a little bit. There we go. Never nude. Of course, a reference to Arrested Development. Tobias is never nude. He wears his little jean shorts all the time. Uh, my husband thought this was very clever to do never nude. And never nude is uh, vanilla bean cake batter filled waffle cones. And what makes this a valentine is it's blended with raspberry coconut mousse. So it's never nude plus raspberry coconut mousse. This one... These are all generously sized shapes here. This first one here, I'll take out of the bag just to show you. We have this little heart here, nice little colors. This is yummy. I've never smelled never nude alone, but I can imagine it's just gonna be a nice heavy bakery vanilla cake with frosting situation. What I'm getting on here is raspberry. But it's similar to, to Minos, it's similar to the raspberry that's the Godiva White Raspberry Truffle Oil. If you've ever had that out there, some vendors carry that. Uh, the coconut, I'm not getting too much of the coconut. This is just a nice raspberry bakery right now. On the, on the labels, there's a cute little picture. And then down here at the bottom is a pour date. So this one was poured on February 8th. So this is almost three weeks old. Tomorrow it'll be three weeks. So I'm gonna still let these ones cure, but I like that she adds the pour date to her labels. The next one I got here is, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce this and I'm not quite sure what it's a reference to. This is A-C-N-H. I don't know what that is. If someone could tell me, please let me know. I didn't look it up before I, before I started to film this. This is aloe and green clover and sea salt and rain. This one is absolutely gorgeous. This is a nice, beautiful, you, you can see here, it's also a heart shaped, but it's that beautiful blue and, and green to represent the clover and the rain. This is gorgeous. This is a perfect, perfect, perfect rainy day in the spring or when the flowers and the trees start blooming, or a nice melt for cleaning day, or when you just want to brighten up your space. This is so good. I should have got two of these, but how was, how was I to know? These are all new blends to me. This is fresh. I'm getting the freshness and the crispness from the rain, and the crispness from, sounds like I'm saying Christmas, but crisp crispness of the sea salt. Um, so that one's there. If, I'm see if I seem a little flabbergasted, I had a massage this evening, an hour and a half massage. All of my sinuses drain, sorry, when I have, when I have a massage and I'm just kind of, um, kind of, you know, decompressed and relaxed for the evening. But I wanted to get this, get this 
this this one filmed so this next one I got two of let me grab this one out here I got two of this one because I saw so many people say how much they loved this one this is but so are the lies but so are the lies this is sugared blackberries and absinthe absinthe is an oil that's not very commonly used I've had it before the last place I had it from was Destination Wax, and it was in the little scent shot cups, which were which was three years ago. Absinthe is a tough one to describe, but I I know that it's kind of a little bit of a hodgepodge, a, a little bit of everything in it. It's a kind of a it's kind of a, a green smelling fragrance, but it's not like anything you've ever smelled before. It's very different. Adding it with blackberry, I thought that was very I thought that was very unique and intriguing and a challenge to me because I sometimes find blackberry pools cough syrup. This does not though. This is a nice true blackberry. And the absinthe is just there. It's a it's a fresh blackberry scent. That's how I would describe this one. This one was poured on January 31st, so this one's ready to go. And ACNH was poured on February 8th. So that's those ones. Next one here we have is spilled milk. Spilled milk with a cute little lemon on there. This was poured on February 2nd. Mr. Groundhog Day. This is lemon Danish sugar milk and batter. I love a good lemon bakery. Sweet lemon bakery is so good. This is heavy bakery with the slightest babyest touch of lemon you know the lemon is there but it's not strong like lemon curd where it's sometimes oh my goodness it's so overpowering it's not like that this is definitely it's it's not a cleaning lemon it's not pledge it's nothing like that it it has the bakery aspect of the batter with a little bit of that sweet sugar milk this is not sour to me i know sometimes sugar milk can be sour to some noses lemon danish I've had lemon danish before from another vendor, and it's kind of a subdued lemon bakery. If you don't like too much of a pop of lemon, lemon danish is the perfect blend for this. I like this. This is, this is nice. Spilled milk. Cute name, too. Okay, next one I have here. Oh, this is never nude. So, yes, this is, this is never nude. So, I, yes, I have smelled it now, but when I purchased Never Nude Valentine, I never smelled never nude. Never nude, and see his little jean shorts right here? <laughs> you ever seen Arrested Development? I think it's on Netflix now. Um, when I first watched it, when I met my husband, it was one of his favorite shows. I didn't like it. Now, as I'm 13 years older <laughs> than I watched it before, um, it's very clever and not all of it. I don't think it's funny, but it's clever. A lot of the things I will say if anything, it's clever. So this is vanilla bean cake batter filled waffle cones. So vanilla bean cake batter filled waffle cones. So cake in a cone. This has almost like when you walk into an ice cream shop that has the homemade waffle cones, which there is nothing better than that smell. You know, if I'm going to go into an ice cream creamery they have a creamery here on a college campus not too far not too far from us but the line is always at the door so you know me I don't I don't go into places like that but the place when you open up the door to an ice cream shop just the the the, the smell that hits your nose that's kind of in here a little bit it's not quite that like that because it's got the cake batter and it has the yumminess of the of the the creaminess richness of the cake if that makes sense with the waffle cone this is fantastic I can see why this is a popular blend because not only is this going to be good standalone this is, can be blended with just about anything you could blend it with fruit you could blend it with palo santo you could blend it with other bakery this is such a versatile one vanilla bakery is though never nude okay I got two never nudes just because I I saw how popular it was Here's my invoice down in here. It's down on the bottom. Each order comes with an invoice that I forgot about here. So this, this pre-order opened on January 19th. 
and each order comes with um, everything that you got. So you can just make sure that you didn't miss any of your goodies. And um, some people keep their invoices. I, I personally don't. Um, but I just, I like that, um, I don't have to have an invoice, but I like that that touch is there. Shows that the vendor cares, in my opinion. This next one is Blueberry Pretzel Delight. I love blueberry. I love pretzel. I love blueberry bakery. So this was a no-brainer. My husband does too. This is cinnamon sugared pretzels filled with blueberry cream cheese and topped with vanilla icing. And we have the cute little pretzel on here. I, I love that. I love that touch, that detail. This here, this is good. I'm getting to, to my nose. This is a little bit more of a salty pretzel versus a yeasty pretzel. The blueberry is not too overpowering. It's just a nice creamy blueberry, if anything. And the vanilla icing is their cream cheese. This is, this is, I don't want to say it's cheesy, but it's cheesecakey. If you like blueberry cheesecake, which I know thousands of people do, this one would be right up your alley. So good. Very, very, very good. I like that one. The next one here, this is the Wedding Singer. This is fluffy white wedding cake, creamy vanilla custard, and strawberry slices. The Wedding the wedding Singer. The Wedding Singer. That's such an adorable movie with Adam Sandler. Sometimes I don't really like Adam Sandler movies, but that one is so, it's so cute. It's so cute. You know, those movies were better, you know, back when, when that one, that came out in the, I think the late nineties or something like that. My husband and I were talking a couple of weeks ago about how the, the mid to late nineties and the early two thousands were some of the best movies, you know, in our opinions and the good old, the good old days, you know, <laughs> um, this one is so good. It's, it's creamy. It's creamy, creamy custard and strawberry. This is like, um, this is similar to pink frosted cake, or at least the frosting part of pink frosted cake. Kind of a diluted version, because I know pink frosted cake can be pretty strong. It's that creamy, rich strawberry bakery. I should have bought a loaf of this because this is so damn good. Mmm, I love that. I'll have to keep this in mind next time Desiree opens her customs. She just closed her customs, but that's the wedding singer. And I have two little loaves I got here. I got these are mini loaves. What does she actually call them? These are heart tarts, you know, in the shape of the heart. And mini loaf pans. So this first one is one of her most popular blends. This is Minnie's Pink Bow. I'll take this out of the bag so you can see it in its entirety. Oh, does it smell good? Okay, Minnie's Pink Bow. I love this, that those cute in beds in there, the beautiful color contrast, the pink to the pink. I just, I, I love this. This is so good. The notes of this, wild berries, strawberries, buttercream, pie crust, and sugar cookie dough. I mean, just that alone, you know why this is a top seller. You know, we love our strawberry stuff. This is creamy. It's, it's berry, but it's not wham in your face berry. It's creamy. It's rich. It's bakery. I wonder i saw a few people ask in her group if she would ever consider doing you know like a a mini's pink bow sampler or a never nude sampler or something like that and she's thinking about it from from what i gather from seeing in in her comments this is mini's pink bow can't wait to get that one chopped up and finally this is one i had to get this is dessert for breakfast this was um a custom uh, desiree had i don't want to say she had a contest but uh, she did a random drawing for something and Vivian, my friend Vivian, uh, won and this was her creation, dessert for breakfast. This is maple walnut fudge, cupcakes at Tiffany's, rich vanilla and sugar cookies. I know Vivian pretty well and she loves cupcakes at Tiffany's and loves vanilla butter fudge. And in this case, she picked maple walnut fudge, which is a little bit richer, a little bit sweeter. And look how cute this is. We have the... The embed kind of came off here, but we have that Tiffany's blue here. This is so heavily scented with that delicious maple walnut fudge. I don't get too much cupcakes at Tiffany's because the maple walnut fudge is just screaming out of here. It wants out. 
and I have the creaminess from the sugar cookies. Well done, Vivian, and well done, Desiree, on, on blending this puppy. This is very, very good to my nose. If I open up my bag, maybe I can get the loaf back in there. <laughs> okay. Now we'll go on to our little sample bag, and this video is a wrap. It was not going to be a long one because I didn't have a, have a long order. We have a little cupcake, excuse me, a little um, lollipop in here that is Strawberry Cupcake Glitter Pop. So th this had to be her Valentine's Day pre-order. I mean, it's a no-brainer now. This cute little Brock's lollipop. And then here is the little goodie bag. I haven't opened this one up, so let's see what's in here. Very generous with the, with the samples, I must say. Okay, say it out loud. Raspberry Dr. Pepper Vanilla Ice Cream. Interesting. Let's see. Oh my gosh, is that Dr. Pepper? If you are an 80s and 90s baby, you'll remember Bonnie Bell, the little lip smackers, the Dr. Pepper one. I wish I still had, wish they still made the original. I mean, I know they, it went out of business and they tried to revive it and it wasn't the same. I bought one. This smells just like Dr. Pepper lip smacker. It really does. So if that's, this is, man, is that nostalgic. Damn. I'm not getting too much raspberry. It's just that Dr. Pepper. Oh, I'm going to sniff that one a lot. I know. This next one is champagne for my real friends. This is sparkling berry, pomegranate, currant, peach blossom, juicy fruity rosé, rosé, creamy coconut, white tonka, and sandalwood. A lot going on in here. That is, this is, this is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. If you like rosé and all of these other different berries, this is very, very surprising because I'm really, I'm not a champagne wax person. I don't really care for champagne, the drink, and I really don't like it in wax. And, you know, Bath and Body Works, um, champagne toast, I absolutely despise that scent. I, I just, I don't like it. it. I'm not in that camp. This is very surprising to me. Other than the rosé, which has a, a nice, light, almost floral scent to it. I love rosés. It's one of the lighter wines. It's so good if you haven't tried any. I'm not getting maybe a little bit of the peach, maybe a touch of the currant. It's just a beautiful, sparkling beverage. You can, you can really get the effervescence in here, too. And we have two little shot cups here. This first one is Come On Over. Banana bread, cookie dough, French bread. Oh, man. This one's going to be really good. Wow. So good. This one, see if I can push it out of the bottom to get a little bit more surface area here. There we go. Okay. It's even got a little bit of glitter on the bottom. Nice little detail. You can smell the richness of the banana bread, but it's not... Sometimes banana bread oils can pull a little artificial to my nose. I mean, I think if, if you ever smelled one, you'll know what I mean. Banana's tough in wax. But the cookie dough and the French bread, this is, this is creamy bakery banana. Just richness. This is, this is delectable. I love that one. And finally, we have, her name is Noelle. Vanilla Bean Noelle, Juicy Peaches, and Cream Soda. I briefly looked at her pre-order list, which it, did, it didn't have a date when her pre-order is going to be unless I just outright missed it. I think this one is on her next list. In fact, come on over might be too. I, I didn't, I glanced at it yesterday. I didn't really commit a lot to memory, but this, her name is Noelle, sticks out to me. So let's see what this one is. This is peach. This is peach and cream soda. Let's see if I can push this out of the bottom here. There we go. This peach is, it's hard to describe. It's, it's peach, yes, but it's not as juicy and strong as maybe a Georgia peach. This is maybe similar to a peach gummy, ooh, man down. 
peach gummy candy or a peach nectar, something that's peach, but it's a little bit less sweet in my opinion. I don't think peach nectar is, I think it's more like a peach juice. This smells like peach juice. Um, this one isn't my favorite scent because I'm really picky with peach. Peach is another one that, you know, you're either in or out. Um, this is not for me. I'm glad I got this little sample though, just because I have a chance to try her peach to see maybe if it's offered in the future with something else, I might try it. So that's my order from Blank Label. Once again, if you haven't tried out Blank Label and you're interested, check out her Facebook page. Desiree is super sweet and kind. I've talked to her a few times um, and uh, she's having a pre-order coming up pretty soon. So hope everyone has a great evening. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.